This episode of Sojino Special is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hey, what's up, guys? Sojino you know Special here. This is my review of the Halo UNSC Vanguard Limited Edition Mobile Gaming System. This comes from Games, and I did a review of their G155 Mobile Gaming Station about a year or maybe two years ago. It was a long time ago. Um, anyway, I reviewed that thing, but this is one of the limited editions that they came out alongside Halo 4. So I'm about to review this bad boy and uh, see whether this is going to be a really good device for mobile gamers out there who really want to be able to game anywhere they go. So let's go ahead and start the review. As we take a look around this case, you'll see that uh, lengthwise, heightwise, and widthwise is pretty much the same as the previous generation uh, G155 case that they came out with. And weight-wise, it feels about the same. So really, the only difference you'll notice is that the handle at the top is fixed, where in the previous generation, it was uh, actually something that you need to pull up to be able to carry it. And also you'll notice the different Halo 4 branding that is on this case which makes it unique and they also throw in some extra stickers so if you want to customize a little bit more you can do that and they also throw in a remote control that you can use to control the system control the brightness and the volume and all those things. Now, as you open this case you're greeted by a huge 19 inch LED HD screen which is definitely an upgrade over the 15.5 inch screen of the previous generation of this type of case. So it's a very nice screen below that you'll find two speakers which do get pretty doggone loud I will tell you uh, that in my testimony once you turn this thing all the way up it gets extremely loud and now also too in the between the speakers you'll find the power button the brightness controls you also find the volume controls as well and it has dual 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so if you do have a a friend that's playing a, alongside with you in co-op or whatever um, you both can have your individual headsets plugged in and down the bottom you'll find two storage pouches that you'll be using to store your cables uh, your power brick for your xbox your controllers and things like that and that brings me to one negative about this case is that these storage bags aren't really big enough to hold every single thing so if you are wanting to carry two controllers and all that other stuff uh, you're not going to be able to totally do that with this you probably need to put a controller or something else um, in a separate bag and now your gaming system will be secure in this case because it has two straps that you'll be using to Velcro strap the systems down in your case. And if you're worried about ventilation, this case uh, really does a good job at ventilation. I never had a case of overheating or anything like that. But if you are gaming, you're probably going to want to take these two storage pouches out to help your Xbox or your PlayStation be able to breathe a little bit easier. Now, after you get your gaming system situated, you are going to need to plug in the HDMI cable that comes included uh, between your Xbox or your PlayStation to the screen itself. And it's a very short HDMI cable, which I do like, so it's not going to get in the way of your screen or anything like that. Now this case still needs to be plugged in, so you're going to need to have two outlets available, one for your, your gaming system and one for the case in the screen itself. So it's not completely, completely portable where you can just sit this thing in your lap and game, but you're still just going to need two extra outlets. All right, so now it's going to turn this system on, and when you turn it on for the first time, you know, the 19-inch the LED screen just really, it's really is bright. It's a very nice screen. It's not that bad at all. Um, the previous generation, I liked the screen, uh, but it wasn't as sharp or as you know crisp as I would want it to be. Um, but this new 19-inch LED display that they put inside this thing definitely does not disappoint. And I played a variety of different games from Assassin's Creed to Halo and Call of Duty on this and all the games really popped out on here and if you're looking at it from the right viewing distance you're really going to have a nice experience. Now the viewing angles of the screen aren't the greatest at all so you are going to have somebody else playing with you They can't be sitting too much on the side. Uh, you're going to need to make sure this thing is going to be centered in front of you so both of you will be able to see the best of the display. And so ultimately with the regular version of this case that has the 15.5 inch display, uh, that one definitely feels like you're playing on a display in a case. When you play on this 19 inch one, it does feel like you have your own personal TV there and uh, you're able to game on it without actually feeling like you're confined to a case. All right, so overall, what do I think about this case? Well, I think this is going to be your best choice. If you are a mobile gamer or you're someone who likes to travel a lot, but you like to still have the, to have the ability to be able to game on a console, uh, this is definitely going to be the case for you. It's not really a lot of uh, different other products in this category that come up to the quality of this case. Uh, and then the case itself, again, the biggest improvement is going to be that 19-inch LED display, uh, which looks very nice. And then also, too, everything with the speakers has been improved. And uh, just really, it's just a nice-looking case as well if you look on the outside. And again, two things that could be improved with this case is going to be the storage bags because the storage bags still feel a little too small if you're trying to carry every single thing with you. Uh, you probably need to be putting something in a separate bag. And then two, the display itself, uh, the viewing angles haven't improved really that much from the previous version. So you are going to need to be sitting directly in front of this screen to really get the best quality. Overall, I really do have a lot of fun with this case. I think anytime somebody sees it, they definitely think, oh, that's pretty cool. You got your own personal screen with you. So it's your mobile gaming system. So again, this thing can uh, act as a carry-on if you do take it on a flight with you. Um, and then two, it's a lot easier to carry this thing around besides carrying an Xbox and a TV set as well. You have everything in one single case. Now, this thing does retail for $349, which is definitely up there. But if you're looking for a system like this, it's really nothing else on the market that comes close to it. Now, if you don't want to spend that much, you still can get the regular G155 um, 
um, version that costs about $249, but I found it on Amazon for about $199, which is again, it's a 15.5 inch display. And if you're interested in that case, you can check out my review of that case here on this channel as well. Anyway, guys, I'm about to end this review, but before I do, it's going to take one let's look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is Jack Threads. Now, I've been talking about Jack Threads for a very long time, but it's a very cool invite only online club for men where you can get some of the latest cool clothes from Kid Robot and Stuzy and other brands like that. And they have t shirts, they have jeans, they have watches, they have shoes, they have belts, they have headphones, they have almost anything that you need to be able to upgrade your wardrobe, especially for the winter time. And so, if you want to get access to some of these deals right now, which can be up to 70% off, which is not that bad at all, you can go to jackthreads.com forward slash SKB and join the club right now since you are a soldier knows best future. Again, that's jackthreads.com forward slash SKB. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about this mobile gaming system from games. This Halo 4 Limited Edition. I really like it. Of course, I'm a big Halo fan anyway. So anyway, guys, leave that comment down below, and I will catch you later. Peace.